are looking at world famous Clearwater Beach. Here's a view looking south towards St. Petersburg and the southern part of Clearwater Beach. You see a lot of large luxury hotels like the Wyndham, the Hyatt, and the new one on the horizon is the Opal Sands. Further south is Sand Key. Let's explore Clearwater Beach today. And here's a view of Clearwater Beach. We're doing a wide pan. Look at the beach umbrellas, the blue sea, the white sand, kids playing. A lot of good things happening here at Clearwater Beach. Clearwater also has a nice beachfront promenade that runs parallel with the beach. Bike riding is a fun activity here at Clearwater Beach too. And here we are on the main strip of public beach here on Clearwater Beach. We're across from the Hyatt looking towards the Gulf of Mexico on a flawless beach day here. And they think of everything here at Clearwater Beach. Look at that children's play area. Look at that wild trampoline that you're attached to these rubber bands. Very European feel. Could be a little bit crowded, but look at all these people enjoying the beautiful sunshine, the waves, and the white sand here at Clearwater Beach. Now we're looking south towards St. Petersburg. To the left is a luxury resort called the Opal Sands that opened up recently. Now we're across the street from the Hyatt, and then we're going to look north towards the Hilton. Okay, the water's getting warm. In Florida, a lot of people don't swim in January and February. Now it's spring, almost summer. The water's getting crowded. And look at the gentle waves in this shallow, clear water. And look at that banana boat being pulled by a jet ski. How exciting. Probably cost about 100 bucks, I think, for everyone. Helicopters are always present. I wonder where this guy's going to, if it's a scenic tour or some billionaire looking for property to buy. Thankful that lifeguards take care of everyone here at the beach. I wonder if those guys watch Baywatch. We're looking at the Gulf of Mexico and now we're going to pan to the luscious beach area here at the San Pearl Resort. And they have showers to wipe the sand off after you leave the beach. Just south of the public beach here in Clearwater is a new resort called Opal Sands. Contemporary in architecture, but reminiscent of another age. And look at the flock of seabirds joining the flock of tourists here at Clearwater Beach. Only smart one here. Look at all that guy, suntan lotion, protecting him from the sun. A lot of mom and pop hotels. Look at the luxurious Wyndham that's been built. There's a Hyatt next door. Further south of us is the Opal Sands. A little bit of cornball today too at the beach. A lot of activities here. Quite often they have concerts. Clearwater is blessed with a beautiful municipal pier. It takes you directly into the Gulf. Let's walk along this pier that separates the northern and southern portion of Clearwater Beach. I see lots of different music, a lot of food, and I also see some jewelry. There's some assorted crafts and artwork. Also a modern playground here at the beach. Now let's walk down Mandalay Avenue and see what's happening. Here's a residential shopping place. A lot of mom and pop stores, beach stores, ice cream, touristy kind of places. And now we're looking south in a shopping district here. A lot of small touristy stores, a few restaurants. I see a Hooters too. 
in our walk a little bit north, I see more touristy surf shops, some restaurants, a couple real estate places. And there's also a beach trolley that will take you along this strip of beach here at Clearwater Beach. There's a well-kept Hilton directly on the beach too. Starbucks in the lobby, straight ahead, more mom and pop stores, and a lot of beach goers. Another day, another beach store. Lots of surf shops here in the beach area. Different bars we're walking past, good places for beer. I see a lot of t-shirt stops. A lot of places for clothing, souvenirs, t-shirts. Like we're looking at the Hilton. I like the curved linear balconies. To the left, you see a Ron John surf shop. They have a huge store in Coco Beach. They also have a nice one here in Clearwater. The view is awesome from the deck at the Clearwater Beach Hilton. Look, the sun hit the water, and that's Tom's Tiki Hut in the foreground. Now, this is a dangerous circle as you enter Clearwater Beach. You head west from Clearwater. Thousands of cars have to navigate this circle every day. Be careful. Whoever is in the circle first has the right of way. Think of it as Clearwater's Arc du Triumph. Parking is quite often an issue here at Clearwater Beach. Try this parking garage adjacent Hooters to the right or actually just north of the circle. Across the street is a small marina where you can see a dolphin watch, sightseeing, speedboats, and also the Calypso Queen Tropical Buffet. 